Hello, in this video we're going to see how to use the msum function in Oracle DV in combination with time and another dimension. We're going to use our classic sample order line data and I've pulled out quantity ordered by months and I filtered it down to a few quarter just for the example. So let's say we want the rolling sum of three months. So we're going to create a calculation with the msum function on quantity ordered with a, a number, an integer of three and I save the calculation, bring it in the report, and that should give us the results we need. So here we can see the numbers are the sum, the rolling sum of the three, three past quantities. And in fact, I can even copy this in my clipboard, paste it in Excel, and there I will do a quick math to validate this. Let me parse this by comma. And if I do a quick math to validate, I will see that the calculations are exactly the same in Excel and in DV. So that's fine. So now, what if I wanted to break this down by another dimension, like region, office, or let's say product category here? In this case, the results returned by our function are not correct. We can see here, for instance, that February 1665 is obviously wrong. It's not the sum of the past previous months. And there are other values in the table that are wrong. So let me copy this in Excel to understand what's going on. When I copy and paste this in Excel in a different sheet, I notice that the sorting of the original result set is by date, not by product category. So with this sorting, the calculation is correct. DV is indeed doing a rolling sum, three months sum by date, but we want this to be sorted by product category, not by date. If I sort my Excel spreadsheet by product category, I will see all the differences. Because DV doesn't make that sort ahead, the, the red mark is showing all the differences between Excel and DV here. So how do we fix this in DV? There is a simple way to fix the calculation so that it takes into account the dimensions that we're bringing. Let me create another calculation to make the difference and we call this M sum by. We're going to use a by close in the same formula. So this is the same formula as before, but I am adding by product category in the M sum syntax and that's validated, and I hit save, and am I bringing this in the report? Now, the results are showing the right value by product category, and the grouping is done by DV on product category before doing the calculation. And if I make this be a table view, you will see these numbers are now exactly the same as our own calculation in Excel. So make sure you use the by close when you need to use the msum function with a dimension. Thank you.